Hi, Bill Parliament here from RadicalMarketingSolutions.com and today is episode 8 of the X's and O's of SEO and today I'm going to talk to you about how to choose a domain name for your website. Now you may already have an existing website and a domain name that you love but after this video if you find that your domain name does not necessarily fit all the criteria um, of choosing a great domain name stick with me to the end of the video and I'm going to share with you some solutions and ways to work around um, those issues. So without any further ado, let's get involved into today's lesson. So the first thing that you need to be aware of is when you're choosing a domain name, you want to stick with top level domain names. And what I mean by top level domain names um, are domain names like .com, .org, and .net. You really want to stay away from the .infos and the .biz and here's why. There's a lot of unethical marketers out there that have actually used those extensions to create uh, spam on the internet and Google is well aware of this. So uh, there is always a chance that Google could devalue um, those types of extensions, the .infos, the .biz, and, and those types of extensions. So stick with the top level domain names. I recommend first.com, then I recommend .org, and then I recommend .net. The next thing that you want to remember is you want to choose keyword rich domain names. Um, exact match keyword rich domain names is even better. And what I mean by that, let's say you sell blue widgets. A great domain name for you would be bluewidgets.com. It's an exact match for your keywords. When you choose your keywords for your domain name, make sure you're choosing your best or your top producing keyword um, for, for your domain name because here's why keyword rich domain names absolutely help with SEO Google still tends to rank exact match domain names high in the search engines but it's really only going to help you for that one keyword so if you're bluewidgets.com it's really only going to give you that boost for blue widgets if you sell red widgets yellow widgets things like that it's not necessarily going to be as powerful for that so make sure when you're choosing a keyword rich domain name choose your best producing keyword for your domain name um, again I just mentioned that it does help with SEO Google does tend to rank uh, exact match and keyword rich domain names higher for those keywords um, the fact is is that people still search for domain names in a search engine so in other words people still search go to Google and they'll type in amazon.com or they'll type in bluewidgets.com so having the exact match keywords in your domain will help when people search for those uh, type of uh, domain names in the search engines. Um, the other thing is keyword rich domain names will give your buyers and customers a clue about your website. So let's say someone types in blue widgets in the search engine um, bar and you get the top 10 websites that show up you want to make sure that your domain name says bluewidgets.com or some sort of um, combination with blue widgets so that your do, your domain kind of sticks out and it can be identified as a website dealing with whatever keyword your buyers have typed into the search engine so that's uh, three reasons why you want to use keywords in your domain name um, you want to keep your key, your domain name short I recommend 15 characters or less and there's a couple of reasons for that first um, it's easier to remember short domain names. The other reason is if you're going to put your domain name on a business card or something like that, it may not fit on your card. So keep it short so it's easy to remember, makes it easier to type, and you can fit your domain name on your business card. Um, avoid using hyphens. Um, again, just like using those other um, uh, domain extensions, hyphens tend to look spammy to the search engines and to Google. Again, um, unethical marketers have taking their keywords and putting hyphens in them um, and Google again is aware of that and your domain name could be devalued because of it. It's also kind of tough to type that domain name into a um, into a search bar so just stay away from hyphens if you can. Avoid gibberish or catchy domain names. Look, um, you're not going to, probably not going to be the next Google or Amazon or Foursquare or Twitter. Um, so stick with your keywords. Um, that's where you're going to get most of your your traffic from is those keyword rich domain names, um, and that's what I would recommend. Um, staying away from these types of uh, domain names. Um, let's say you go to 
choose your exact match or your keyword rich domain name and it's taken. Well, you can kind of add a tail to the end of your domain name. Um, and some of those tails that I recommend are reviewed. So it could be bluewidgetsreviewed.com or bluewidgetsolutions.com. Um, bluewidgetscompared.com. There's a bunch of different um, um, tails that you can use in your domain. Again, just make sure that you have your keywords early in your domain name. Another thing that you can use is your location. So it could be uh, bluewidgetsphiladelphia.com. So you can use your location um, in the tail of your domain name. Um, if you're struggling with ideas for your domain name, there are websites like nametumblr.com and nameboy.com and these websites will actually allow you to put in your main keyword um, you can hit submit and it'll it'll give you a bunch of different uh, choices um, that you can use to choose for your domain names now let's say you already have an existing website with a domain name and you're not exactly thrilled with your domain name or they don't fit this criteria there's a couple of things that you can do here you can go out and buy a brand new domain name with maybe some of your products. So let's say, for instance, you own bluewidgets.com. You could go out and buy redwidgets.com, yellowwidgets.com, um, and create many informational uh, websites, authoritative websites, um, based on those products that you sell um, or other keywords that you want to rank for. So you wouldn't necessarily have to change your domain name. You can just take... Um, some of your your products the um things like that and make and make those into uh many websites um and then you would just link from those websites back to your main website if you're absolutely um, positive that you have to change your domain name um, you're going to want to make sure that you do a 301 redirect from your old website to your new website and there's also a new um um, category in your Google Webmasters Tools account where you can actually tell Google that you're changing your domain name. So it'll ask you for your existing domain name and what the new domain name will be and that will give Google some uh, clue that you have this old website and now it's going to be moving to this new new domain name. So um, there are some tips on choosing um, domain names for your website. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. And again, this is Bill Parliament saying, now go dominate Google.